गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर नाइन रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन सो लेट सी वॉट इज रेशियो फर्स्ट देन वील स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स सो डेफिनेशन ऑफ रेशियो से दैट रेशियो इज अ वे ऑफ कंपेरिंग क्वान्टिटीज और नंबर्स बाय डिवीजन सो हियर वॉट इज द ऑपरेशन यूज हियर दैट इज डिवीजन एंड वी हैव टू कंपेयर टू क्वान्टिटीज सो हाउ टू कंपेयर लेट से द एज ऑफ टू पर्सन सो लेट से एज ऑफ टू पर्सन वन पर्सन इज राम एंड अनदर पर्सन इज श्याम so here are two persons and we have to compare their ages let's say the age of ram is 12 years and age of sham will be 4 years okay so 12 by 4 is not in not in the lowest form or in the simplest form first we have to compare it to the simplest form how it is by taking their hcf what is the hcf of 12 and 4 definitely that is 4 okay so by dividing 4 in both 12 and 4 we can find the simplest form how it is so 4 is the hcf just divide 12 with 4 we can get 4 3 ja 12 and here 4 1 ja 4 so what we get here 3 by a1 we are getting here 3 by 1 but in ratio we have to write it it as 3 is to 1 so here in 3 is to 1 what is used here the symbol ratio is used here and this is the symbol of ratio that is colon we can call tell it as colon colon means the ratio symbol of the ratio okay so 3 is to 1 is the ages of two person that is ram and sham now in the ratio what we see here the one is numerator is there another is denominator is there so here in the ratio so what is the numerator called the numerator is called antecedent the numerator is called antecedent and the denominator is called consequent so what in 3 is to 1 what is antecedent that is 3 and what is consequent that is 1 so this is the concept of the ratio now what we let's observe with one of the figure by discussing this figure we can clearly understand this concept of ratio so look at this figure this is a circle and in this circle the circle is divided into how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 parts okay so here what we observe here the two parts are sided okay if i tell you ask you so tell me the ratio of the sided part so you can say that 2 by 6 because two parts are sided and how many total parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 by 6 is the sided part portion so sided part okay again what we see here 2 by 6 is not in the lowest form or the simplest form so how to convert into the simplest form by taking the hcf so here what is the hcf of 2 and 6 definitely that is 2 so divide with 2 in both antecedent and consequent so 2 ones are 2 and 2 threes are 6 what you got here 1 upon 3 in the ratio form how to write this 1 upon 3 equal to 1 is to 3 so here the ratio of this sided part is 1 is to 3 and one is the called the antecedent and three is called the consequent let's see one question here the question says that what is the ratio of 18 mm to 3 cm so what you observe here that means the both the units are different so first step is to convert the it to same unit to making into the ratio we have to make it to the same unit so here millimeter is there but here centimeter is there convert into same unit let's convert both the units into millimeter so we know that 1 cm equal to 10 mm so here how many cm is there 3 cm so 3 cm equal to 10 into 3 that is 
30 millimeter okay so now we can easily find out the ratio so what is the ratio of 18 millimeter 18 let's write the 18 millimeter and 3 centimeter converted to millimeter that is 30 millimeter so here 18 by 30 we got again we can minimize or make it into the lowest form how it is by taking the SCF. What is the SCF of 18 and 30? Let's find out. 18, 30 SCF divide with 2. 2 9 is 18 and 2 15 is 30. Again we see that it is divisible with 3. 3 3 is 9 and 3 5 is 15. So what we observe the SCF here? 2 into 3 is 6. The SCF of 18 and 30 is 6. So divide with 6. 18 divide 6 and 30 divide 6 so 18 divide 6 is 3 and 30 divide 6 is 5 so 3 by 5 we got and converted to ratio means 3 is to 5 is the ratio of this fraction okay now look at this simplest form of ratio what is simplest form of ratio earlier also I told you that it is the minimized form or the lowest form okay so 500 centimeter by 100 centimeter how to make it to the simplest form that is by dividing both numerator and denominator with HCF so what is the SCF of 500 and 100 that is 100 so divide with 100 100 5 ja, 100 1 ja. so what you got here 5 is to 1 is the ratio of this fraction okay now 18 millimeter in the numerator and 3 centimeter in the denominator what is the first step convert into the same unit because here millimeter is there and denominator centimeter is there convert it into the same unit so to convert it to same unit you have to multiply centimeter with 10 because 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter so let's write here 10 millimeter upon 3 into 10 it is 30 millimeter equal to 3 by 5 because here I have already solved 3 by 5 or 3 is to 5 is the ratio it is the simplest form now 60 upon 120 what is the SCV of 60 and 120 that is 60 so divide with 60 both numerator and denominator 61 ja 62 ja what you got the ratio here 1 is to 2 okay now let's see one more concept that is equivalent ratio so what is equivalent ratio let's see 2 by 3 is a fraction so here 2 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator so if you multiply in the numerator and denominator the same number we can get the equivalent fraction so let's multiply one number two we can multiply any number natural number okay so or integers also so here two into two is two into four and three into two is six so what we got here four by six so four by six is an equivalent ratio of two by three if 2 by 3 is a ratio, 2 is to 3 is a ratio, then 4 is to 6 is an equivalent ratio of this 2 is to 3. Now, let's see more equivalent ratio of this 2 by 3. Again, if you multiply another number 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator, what you got here? 2, 3 is 6 and 3, 3 is 9 here 6 is to 9 is an equivalent ratio of the 2 is to 3 now let's see more now equivalent ratio if you again multiply another number 4 and here denominator also 4 we can get 8 by 12 here 8 by 12 is an equivalent ratio of 2 is to 3 so we can get as many as equivalent ratio of a given ratio okay now let's see another concept that is simplifying a ratio simplification means to solve okay so here you have to solve this ratio what you observe here 2 by 3 by 4 is a fraction 
and 2 by 5 is a fraction in between the ratio symbol is there that means ratio of two fraction so you have to do simplification the first step is to find out the lcm of this both the denominator here lcm of 4 and 5 equal to 20 the now the next step is just multiply the fraction with the lcm so 3 by 4 into 20 what we got here 4 and 20 both are divisible so 4 5 are 20 3 5 are 15 we got next fraction is 2 by 5 just write that fraction and multiply the lcm with this fraction here 5 4 are 20 so 4 2 are 8 so what we got here 15 here answer and here 8 so 15 is to 8 is the simplification of this fractional numbers okay i hope you understand today